COVID-19 hasn't stopped people from hitting the road for the 4th of July. If that's your plan, you might want to keep an eye out for traffic. News 9's Natalie Sapila is in the newsroom with more. Hey, Natalie. Yeah, coronavirus may have hindered people's travel plans on Memorial Day, but not so much this weekend. Highway Patrol officials tell me they're seeing about the same volume of traffic this weekend as this time last year. With COVID restrictions lifted, people are hitting the road this weekend. We are expecting uh, auto travel to be um, just a little bit behind where it was this time last year. We're An expert with AAA told me this is high compared to Memorial Day this year when COVID-19 restrictions were tighter. In Memorial Day, we still had a lot of states that were under stay-at-home orders, uh, very restrictive lockdowns and businesses closing, and there simply wasn't a lot of places for people to go. Already, Highway Patrol says the highway traffic is back to normal for this time of year. So with the holiday travel coming in, we see a larger traffic volume than usual. And with that travel volume comes extra safety hazards like crashes or breakdowns on the roadway. This year, experts say to make sure you follow the same safety recommendations as usual. Fourth of July is uh, a pretty dangerous day on the roads, especially when you're talking about impaired driving. So we really stress if you're going to get behind the wheel, um, you know, don't get behind the wheel if you've been drinking. Plan ahead your trip. Um, if you're going to be drinking at the end of the night or something like that, make sure you're planning to have a designated driver take you home. Drivers should also plan ahead and give themselves extra time to get to their destinations, as well as plan for delays or accidents. They also say you should pay attention to your speed and following distance and eliminate any distractions. In the newsroom, Natalie Sapila, News 9 WAOW. Holiday travel was